Spherical and Euclidean geometry. Euclidean geometry always adds up to 180. Spherical is going to be greater than 180. Okay, so if you add up these, you get 115 plus this is going to be 243. That's more than 180, so it's spherical. Okay, a triangle can have three 70 degree angles in Euclidean, but not in spherical. That's false. It's 210 degrees. It would work in spherical, but in Euclidean, it would not work. So these two need to be swapped to make it true, don't they? Number 18, two angles of a triangle measure 36 and 96. So if you add those up, you get 132. And then if you subtract that from 180, you get 48. So 48 would be Euclidean, wouldn't it? Okay. What would the third angle measurement need to be for the triangle to exist in Euclidean, and what would it need to be in spherical? So this needs to be 48 in the first spot. These two work, but more than 48 in the second spot. This would be too small. This one would work, wouldn't it? So C would work. Two angles measure 46 and 71. If you add those up, you get 117. Okay, right? What would the third angle measurement need to be for Euclidean and for the third to be exist in Euclidean and to exist in spherical? So the first one is Euclidean and the second one spherical. If you subtract this from 180, did I add those right? 46 and 71. Yeah. This is wrong because they don't add up. Subtract from 117 and you would get 53. Let's make the 59s 53. Okay, these two would work and then it needs to be more than 53 so this one would work here. Typo on that one.